What's up guys, this is Crypto with James, talking to you today about a coin I bloody love, Monero. Um, I'm going to get into why I love it, um, and the reasons that, that I will probably in the future be using this quite a lot. Um, and before I do, as always, the spreadsheet's updated. It's been a great couple, like, a few days in the crypto market. Everything's just moving really steadily up. Really, really good. Um, these are the first 26 coins I spoke about on the YouTube channel, bar the Phantom one, that's a Udemy course I did last year. Um, if you'd invested 100 bucks into each one of these coins, you'd be sitting on a profit of 25,400, well, nearly 500 bucks. So add in your $2,600 investment, you'd be sitting on 28 grand, a little over, which is uh, pretty good, right? Um, I've held absolutely all of these at one point or another. I've actually sold damn near every single position in profit. Bar Grin. Grin has never been in profit. It's rubbish. <laughs> um, it's been a big disappointment. Um, and now I'm, I've reinvested all that profit, though, into new cryptos. So if you want to see the new cryptos that I'm in, uh, check out Copy My Crypto. I built this portfolio and designed this portfolio to maximize the gains that are going to happen throughout this bull cycle. Um, the way I've built the percentages is to is to ensure that I'm going to get the best return on investment uh, for my holdings. And the last two weeks have been absolutely immense for uh, my holdings. Um, and I know a bunch of the new subscribers are buzzing about that. I'm getting the emails. So if you want to see exactly what I'm holding and the huge benefits some of these coins are going to hold for you, not just in terms of growth, but opportunity, then check out Copy My Crypto. Links in the description, guys. Right, Monero, 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 Monero. So Monero is a um, is an absolute beast in terms of what it is, because it's completely to do with privacy. Now, privacy to me is one of the most important things uh, with finances, with your with your investments, or with what you own or hold. Um, and in terms of the developers, five of them remained anonymous and there are big rumors that satoshi nakamoto was one of them um and venera's origins can be traced back to bitcoin which was privacy fo uh, focused crypto um and since then obviously um the monero code was born it was a forked bcn uh bitcoin um and it's been very, very interesting. Now, part of the reason that I'm a hugely bullish fan of Monero um, is that privacy element. The whole goal is to prevent uh, centralization. Um, they use a consensus mechanism called Crypto Night, which I quite like as a term, um, and it's based on proof of work. Uh, but it prevents large mining farms from becoming a dominant force, and that's something we have seen in a number of coins. Bitcoin as well. Um, because it's a privacy coin, a lot of exchanges won't list it. Um, but you can get it on Binance, but you can't get it on Coinbase and places like that. And there's going to be issues regarding privacy coins, without shadow of a doubt. Um, there are a lot. The, the government wants to know what you own. They just do. And we're in this situation now where I think a lot of people are becoming less and less trusting of the government. Um, for Monero to really run, that narrative and that sentiment and feeling about about government has to increase and continue. Monero's hit an all-time high of around four hundred ninety bucks or four hundred eighty bucks. Sorry. Um, this year, maybe it doubles from this point. You, you probably double your money from this point. Um, I can't imagine you do much more. But the reason that Monero is important is it's an opportunity for you to take payments um, without having to necessarily share that with the world or with with the government. And I'm not necessarily I'm, I'm not saying um, don't pay your taxes, but I do. I am very against the tax system that's in place. 
uh, certainly in the UK and certainly from what I've seen in America as well. Um, and we're seeing an overreach of government on on uh, enormous levels. I mean, as an example, you know, the Europe, Europe's Europe, uh, Human Rights Court found that the UK had acted illegally and all that bloody surveillance that Edward Snowden released. Now, everyone feels differently about Edward Snowden. Personally, I, I think what he did was right um, because I don't think a government has the right to do that. Um, and mass surveillance practices are in place uh, in, in, in huge numbers around the world. Um, and we're starting to see overreach of, of, of government agencies that are looking to take control of ec of crypto exchanges or they're looking for jurisdiction over them they're looking for authority over the entire crypto market that's not the point of it that's never the point of it um you know gary gens like a man that was literally spent his entire like professional life in investment banking is the man that's in charge of this of course you know he's a bought and paid for stooge I mean, a stooge. He's bought and paid for porn, in 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 terms of doing what is best for banks, best for Wall Street. Look at the stupid amendment that ended up that didn't pass, and the amendments that look that did pass within the House. That amendment doesn't. The amendment punishes individuals, but it benefits Wall Street. It's not, and that's the situation we're in. Now, Monero is simple than what it is um monero is accepted by a few places not tons but it is accepted by a decent amount of places it is um a crypto that can be used as payment it's a, it's, a, it's a crypto that's actually vital for payment you know you think about all the amount of professionals that do jobs that are paid cash in hand now, we could end up in a cashless society. A lot of those individuals will all of a sudden not be able to supplement their income in a way that is necessary to survive because that's what most people do. So Monero would provide that opportunity. If we went to a cashless society, which I don't think we can, but we are we are certainly heading towards it. Um, there are people that are in, in, in work that is cash in hand. So instead... It would have to be Monero in hand or Monero in wallet, right? Because then they can build their 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 wealth without getting absolutely destroyed and wrecked by having to declare absolutely everything. It's a very it's a very unusual circumstance, but Monero is the benefit here. And part of the reason I thought Grin was going to do well is because Grin's a privacy based coin. The actual tech is more advanced than Monero. But, um, but Monero has remained king. Monero has remained the king of the centralized, um, of, of privacy coins without a shadow of a doubt. Like I didn't think Grin would take its crown, but I thought it would do some, do some, uh, damage, you know, and it hasn't. Um, So XMR and um, Monero has been used for a lot of illegal transactions, um, or is believed to be, um, particularly on darknet. Now, darknet markets are only tracked by the, are tracked specifically by the government, so you have to trust that they're saying something honest. Um, but the fact that the U.S. government have offered hundreds of thousands of dollars to anyone who can crack Monero's code shows that they feel that this is a threat to them and a threat to them could be positive or negative if they uh, if all they do is focus on work on on cracking it and once they crack it they've they've made it worthless and at some point someone will that's just an inevitability of time there'll be someone that's intelligent enough to do it um and that's of concern but i don't feel there's a better opportunity for people to actually earn an income in a cashless society than something like Monero. And that's the rub, isn't it, I suppose, because if the US governments or any governments that continue to crack down on Monero, you know, to the to the degree that exchanges keep removing it, 
it will lose its value. Long term, it could be a thousand dollar coin. The more cashless the society becomes, the better for Monero in many, many ways. Um, but there would have to be some level of um, continuation of Monero being present in the crypto exchanges. And the more that we're seeing, particularly the US government focused on, on dissolving privacy coins or, or clamping down on them, the bigger problem that will be for Monero in the long run. Um, I really like Monero. I really like Monero. From, from a concept of freedom and right to privacy, I like Monero a hell of a lot. Um, but it could is it's one of those coins that could go to zero if the if the crowd's cracked it would go to zero if the governments continue to clamp down on privacy coins to such a degree the exchanges continue to remove it it would go to zero uh and i love it but it has a tentative future uh tell me what you guys think about monero fun not fun because, you know, I'm saying it could go to zero, but it, right now it's sitting at a full, nearly 5 billion market cap. I do believe this year it will probably break 500 bucks. Um, but the 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 way it's going to be attacked, and I do believe it will be attacked, could be a real problem. Real problem. And I'm looking at it from a from the perspective of how, of how governments feel and seem to be acting because however you want to feel like whatever you say that's quite an insidious act that a government's actually actively trying to get like promoting people trying to break its code so that they can see people's um so that they can find people that have used it i don't i don't feel that's right so <laughs> you know and i know it's under the guise of protection or stopping crime but it's feel feels wrong feels wrong um but yeah tell me what you think tell me what you think uh as for as always though guys check out copy my crypto um it's an absolute beast at the moment we've had some stupidly good returns on some of the biggest coins in the holdings i'm really pumped about this in the next few months uh the longer you hold out on in terms of investing in crypto uh the smaller your gains will be you'll still make gains but they will be a lot smaller. Um, and now is the time, if you're new to crypto, to, to, to take a leap and get in and build your wealth before the bear market kicks in. When the bear market kicks in, you use your wealth that you've cashed and reinvest in preparation for the bull cycle that will be in about three and a half years. That's it. It's a cyclical market. We know it. Anyway, take care and stay safe, guys. Bye-bye.